Well, happy Friday, everybody. Thank you for joining me each weekday for these devotions that are part of our Bible reading plan. Today we are in Exodus chapter 9, so hope you have your Bible and are looking there. Um, and thank you whether you're uh, watching the video on YouTube, Instagram, or our website, or another platform if you're listening to the podcast. And I also want to encourage you to tell others about the podcast so if they don't have time to watch the video at home or at work, uh, they can, and I probably shouldn't say watch it at work, but I know you get breaks and some of you do that, but uh, you can also listen to the podcast while you're driving to work or on your way to lunch or jogging or working out or whatever. I hope you'll uh, let people know about the podcast that's available. They just need to search for Steve Hogg wherever they get their podcast from. Today I want to talk in Exodus 9 about God's judgment. I'm actually preaching on that this Sunday morning at First Baptist. But uh, I want to say a little bit about it in today's devotion. You know, the plagues that God sent on uh, Pharaoh in Egypt were judgment. And I want, I want us to look at something that is said in this chapter, verses 13 and following, Exodus chapter 9, 13 through 17. Then the Lord said to Moses, Rise up early in the morning and stand before, the, before Pharaoh and say to him, Thus says the Lord, the God of the Hebrews, Let my people go that they may serve me. For this time I will send all my plagues on you and your servants and your people so that you may know that there is no one like me in all the earth. Pharaoh, if you don't obey me now, the plagues are only going to get worse. Verse 15, For if by now I had put forth my hand and struck you and your people with pestilence, you would have you would have been cut off from the earth. In other words, Pharaoh, if I had just poured out all of my judgment on you at one time, you and all your people would already be dead. It is the grace of God that keeps him from pouring out all of his judgment on us at once, even though it is deserved. Now, God's purpose in the plagues was not punishment. It was compulsion. He was trying to compel Pharaoh to do what is right. Kind of like a parent when they discipline their child. It's not just about punishment. It's about trying to get their kid to do what is right. It was the same with God and Pharaoh, the same with God and us. But Pharaoh's heart was stubborn. Stubborn. He wouldn't listen to God, would not obey God. And uh, the truth is sometimes we act the same way. But here's what I want you to know. It's only the grace of God that prevents his judgment from totally destroying us in this life. If we actually got what we deserve based on our obedience or lack of obedience, we'd already be dead. God disciplines, God judges, and it's deserved, but His grace, His grace is the only thing that keeps us alive when you think about the reality of our sin. Um, when God speaks to us, we need to obey Him. When we read something in His Word, we need to do it. When we hear something, whether it's a sermon, a lesson, a song, and God uses it to speak to our hearts, we need to listen, we need to hear, and we need to respond in a positive way. Obedience is always good. Disobedience is always bad. God's judgment is very, very real, but I'm thankful that he doesn't give me everything I deserve because I wouldn't be here if he did, and neither would you. We're going to talk more about the judgment of God this Sunday by looking at the first nine plagues that God put on Egypt and the Pharaoh. Hope you'll be here. And if you can't be here physically, that you'll watch us online. God bless you. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you Sunday morning and then next Monday with another devotion.